Hey guys, this is Ben Hoffman here at Gander RV in Rothschild, Wisconsin. Today I'm going to do a quick review of three different uh, motorhome brands, just from the outside here, just kind of so you can see the difference and uh, you know what you can pay for, why you pay more for some and less for others. So let's get right to the motorhomes. So this is our middle of the road daybreak. And as you can see, this is a little bit bigger one, just under 30 feet, has the E450 chassis with the new Ford 7.3 liter V8. Doesn't have as much color on the outside, it's a little more just the white. Good thing about that is that it will age better because white is never really gonna go out of style. Um, the other thing is the full body paint is cool on some of our other ones we can get, but it is a little more maintenance and everything to, to, for up to. But it does have the power awning, the LED light, one thing this one is missing is the power set by the front door. You do get the outdoor entertainment area, which is something that you get on the other ones also. But, so you get kind of a, those are some of the things that make the biggest difference. Now this also does not have the easy drive system like our Integra's, but it's, you can still drive nice. You, you, everybody's surprised when they're going down the road how well these things handle. So that's our day break. Let's go on to our Coleman. So here we are with our Coleman. This is kind of our entry level. They're a little bit smaller. Um, this one is the single axle or single tire in the back rather than a tandem, tandem tire in the back, okay? That's one thing on this one. There is no outdoor entertainment. As you can see, yeah, it's very short. This one does not have a dedicated bed other than the cab over bunk, but it does have the power awning with the LED light. Obviously, once again, no, no step. This one does not have any kind of stabilizing system. Probably don't need it because it's so short. And it's the E350 chassis. It also does have the new Ford engine, the 7.3. Let's go on to our next one. So this is our, not quite top level, but getting up there. This is our Integra line. It's the Odyssey, rather than then you can go up to the Steam if you wanted to. And there's also a Quest, which is a Mercedes chassis. But as you can see, a little more uh, color on the outside. You have your one piece, all fiberglass cap in the front. No seams for, you know, that can be maintenance issues. The E450 chassis with the same engine. This one does have the easy drive system, so it's extra insulation or extra stabilizers, front and back, along with insulators between the frame and the shocks. So you have a nice easy drive it's, and it's quiet. It does have the outdoor entertainment, power awning with the LED light. It is adjustable. One other big thing on the Integra's, you'll notice they're all frameless windows. It's another thing for maintenance, less areas for silicone to go bad and leak. Other than that, a lot is the same. Little things on the Integra are where your, these kind of things. So your low point drains, all your controls for, for draining out your sewer and whatever are all enclosed. So they're not in the elements. So there's some differences on three different levels of some of our motorhomes. Like I said, we do have some other ones available, just don't have them here right now. So if you have any questions, give me Big Ben a call, 715-614-2121.